Pink too by himself. And there is the double kill beatdown. That is just embarrassing, Demon D. Don't come up here. I'm the best. And if you ask Nexi, he'll say uh, Pure Gangster is a great pickup there for Dynasty because he helped, you know, the influence in the last event finish seventh. And, you know, I played against these, these guys, um, the influence, back after Dallas in the Pro-Am, and a Pure Gangster destroyed me with four shots every single time. You know, I stacked my team. I had Neighbor on my squad. I had Nate, and I had all the best players I could think of, and I just got trounced. <laughs> But when you put all the best players together, that doesn't necessarily mean you form the best team. I know, I was trying to be the leader, but they just didn't want to listen to me. I don't know what's up. Uh, all right, so here comes Clutch, <laughs> moving his way into pick one, and he's battling pure Gangster. But Gangster staying alive, picking up the kills. He's finally taken down. But we're jumping on board with the Naval. He just stuck the sword guy, but he didn't get a bull shot. We're going to talk about that a little later, Scott. You said just because you put the best players on one team don't mean you got the best team. We're going to talk about that a little later. Maybe I'll ask you, you know, some, when we got some downtime, see what we do. What we think how you could put together a team, what you would put together. I guarantee you whatever team I put together would beat Scott's team. Oh, that's uh -oh. a bold face line. There we go, battles. <laughs> Rap battle comes later. Stay tuned. All right, we're going to listen back in with Believe the Hype. I'm getting out of control, and it's awesome. It's Anaheim. I'm feeling good. Hope you guys are enjoying this because this is an awesome matchup between two very close teams. It's all tied up one-to-one. -one. We're in game three. Winner of this will have the advantage going into game four. One shot, one shot, cross that red, one shot. He's in the cubby. He's in the corner. He's going for him. Nice. Car two, one down, one down. Car two, car two. Car blue side. Car side, car side, side blue. Car side blue. Weak, weak, weak. Weak. Push over. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Three down. Pink, what's right side. Weak, weak, Danny. One shot, Danny. Red pink. Red pink, red pink. Red pink, and one shot, pink two, which is awesome. I got ball time. Just hold on to it. Pink side blue, Danny. One on my base, one on my base. One ball. You're dead. Nice. 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 Pink one, 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 pink He's dead. Nice. I got ball, I got ball. Red two, red two, clutch a shot. Car two, car three, car three, car two, three. Clutch a now, shot. Scott, I got to come back in here. I'm really liking what I'm seeing out of the red-haired blue guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we got a name on our screen, and I was looking for a lot of his VOD coming into this event, and we, to be honest, we just don't have a lot of footage of him. He didn't play in any uh, really high ranked matches, but now he's on the ninth seeded team. He's fought his way through that all season long, and I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. He's out PR in Cloud. He's out PR in Demon D. He's basically just doing it all here for Dynasty. What is it about this player uh, that, that's impressing you so much? He is very well tuned. He, do, he doesn't have necessarily the flashiest things, but how he's moving the ball, and he's actually saying the strats. He just said, I'm going to push it back in the base, so he knows what he's doing. He's, I can tell, like, if I were to team with him, he'd be one of those players who, if I were to say something, he would give me good feedback on not just be like, oh, yeah, 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 let's just go with that, let's give it a whirl. He would be honest with Yeah, him. he's definitely a good communicator. Right there, he was holding the ball. He heard somebody had one shot on him. He dropped the ball, took the one shot, got the ball time again. He's, he's definitely listening out there. Yeah, he's leading all players right now with 115 seconds by himself with that ball time. A lot of it is due to the great protection he's getting from his teammates. But, really, he's just, like you said, doing a nice job of moving that ball around. Let's see what he can do for a take-back strategy for, here for Dynasty, because believe the hype, they, they're holding on to a two-second lead here, but now they're getting a big chunk of time. 100 seconds left, first to 250. Whoever has the most at the end of the time.
And there we go. We see the lead change as Dynasty retakes the huge lead that uh, believe the hype build up. It's 193 and counting to 188. Just 90 seconds left on the clock. This one is coming down to the wire. That was incredible ball movement right there. I don't know if you watched that, Chris. You were you were in your zone, I know. But he saw two people in blue base, and he said, "You know what? I'm getting out of here. I'm going to red base." And he's still moving it. He knows they're at. He knows there's charge. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sorry. Continue. It's okay. He knows they're charging cars, so he's going to move it pink. And his teammates can just kind of come behind him and just trail behind him. And your gangster moving up against Maniac. Oh. Whoa, that's a Chris fucking VR. <laughs> That, that was almost a Farouk BR right there. Yeah, that was almost a Farouk BR. And Tizoxic going up against Maniac. Maniac clutching it here for Believe the Hype. He was one of three players alive, and Demon D was one of those as well. He has the oddball. 40 seconds left on the clock. He's coming up on the 210 mark, trying to tie this one up and take the lead here for Believe the Hype. And he's moving the ball over towards pink side, where he's got a lot of protection from Cloud and Clutch. How, all tied to 2-10 right now. How important is it to take this game three? Uh, oh, extremely, especially if you're, especially if you're Dynasty. If you're not, if you're not Dynasty, who's winning this game right now, then I, I don't even know. Yeah, what to you say. Can, we're done. 14 <laughs> seconds left on the clock. 10 seconds. Believe the hype needs it right now. This game is over. Dynasty has edged out. Believe the hype in game three. And midway through that one, I thought it was definitely going the way. Of Believe the hype. And Nabel and that awesome ball movement helped Dynasty get back in this one. They're going to take game three. Nice shit, Bradley. Nice shit, baby. Let's go, come on. You guys got All right, we're going to ride that momentum right into game number four. But first, we got to check a look at the stats. Puckett, what do we see here? Well, you got to look at the most kills, and that is coming from Clutch. He had put up 36, least amount of ball time for his team. But on the other side, Enable really just dominating the ball time there for Dynasty. Lots and lots of assists amongst both teams there. And a pure gangster, he had a solid game, putting up 35 kills with a plus three ratio. All right, and here we go. We're get, gearing up for game four. Yes, game number four. We're going to get right into it right now. Dynasty with the lead here in our first match on Friday night kickoff. Dynasty two, believe the hype won. If Dynasty can pull this out, they advance. And, and yes, Nabel's smiling right now. He's feeling good after that last game. I mean, he had to. I mean, you watched his ball control on that, and it was just purely amazing. Yeah, this, this is an awesome series. I love the game types here in our first round. And game type number four is going to be capture the flag on Onslaught. The fastest paced CTF we got here on this smallest map. And I know I know you love this game type. Scott, who do you want to hang out with right now? I want to hang out with Enable just because I want to see if he can run his flag as well as he can move the ball. And we're not hopping on board with Enable. We're going to stay on board and ride this wave. <laughs> Enable helping out from top middle. And it looks like Dynasty, once again, is going to be the stronger team to open up. This looks just like in that Narrows game where they get the momentum early on and they never look back. And already they're setting up on Believe the Hype's flag. Demon D, the only member alive. That's four down. And what I was trying to say at the end of that last game was that midi ball was extremely important for Dynasty because these guys are young guns. If they would have lost that game, I feel like they would have rolled over and just kind of let Believe the Hype win. But since they won, this is going to be a great series. And this is really do or die time for Believe the Hype, not just in this match, but really in this tournament. You know, all these teams have one last opportunity to improve their seeds going into our national championships in Orlando in a couple months. And really, Believe the Hype needs this win because we all kind of predicted BTH to move on to play Final Boss in round two. They need this game to stay in it to take it to game five.